Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So it is time for another Sass Alert Anti Haul and I have two products to talk about today and they're both kind of crazy, so let's just jump right into it. So first on the chopping block is the Foreo Luna Play. Now, the Luna is an electric facial cleansing device or brush. It's kind of got these like silicone nubbly fingers on part of it and so you're supposed to charge it up and then when you wash your face you rub it over your skin and it really helps your cleanser get down into your pores, it helps exfoliate, it just basically helps you clean your face more efficiently. And, and the company has several different you know flavors of it, they come in different colors for different skin types. There's even a, a mini version which is a little bit smaller. Anyway, it sounds like a good idea, right? You know, if you're into the whole like Clarisonic kind of, you know, facial brushing action, I could definitely see why this product could be awesome. And I know a lot of people who own them and who like them a lot and who use them every day. So that's fine. Now the regular Luna is $199, which is kind of steep, sure, but it's supposed to be a device that you will use for the long term. So fine. Then the mini is a little bit less expensive. They have one version that's $99 and another one that's $199. Again, that's all fine. My problem is with the Luna Play, which is $39. And let's read what the company has to say about this thing. It's a waterproof facial cleansing device that channels T-sonic pulsations through soft silicone touch points for deep and gentle cleansing. Sounds good, right? It's supposed to reduce the appearance of pores, supposed to even out your texture, supposed to even out your skin tone, all good things. So why is this one only $39? Because unlike the other Lunas that are rechargeable, this one only works for 100 uses and then you have to throw it away. Yes, yes, you are supposed to pay them $40 for something you're gonna have to throw away. Now, how do we even know that you're gonna get 100 uses out of it? Maybe I take longer to clean my skin than Jane Q Public, and I'm gonna to have to throw it away after 50. Maybe it's gonna stop working permanently, might I add, when I'm in the middle of washing my face. Let me ask you this. If you were gonna buy any other device that vibrates, would you buy one that couldn't be re-batteried so it could just die permanently when you're in the middle of using it? And here's to add insult to injury. Here's what the company is saying. They're saying that the Luna Play allows you to experience gentle yet effective skincare serving as the perfect introduction to Foreo's range of Luna facial cleansing brushes. Basically, pay us money to try our product. No, 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 no. A thousand times no, nine, yet. Uh-uh, here's what you do. If you are stoked enough about the concept of the Luna to want to go try it, head on over to Sephora, toodle on over there, and buy it and try it, and if you don't like it, Sephora takes these things called returns, where you can get all of your money back, not minus $40. And even if you don't have your receipt, they take returns without a receipt. There are some limits though, so I would recommend saving your receipt. But I am not about to pay this company $40 to test drive their product. I don't think so. Not happening. I'm not doing it, and neither should you. Next to the slaughter is the Marc Jacobs Beauty Object of Desire Face and Eye Palette. This is a $69 palette. You get six eyeshadows, you get a bronzer, a blush, and a highlighter. Now, it comes in a very swanky looking vegan patent leather case with a black tassel. And the idea is this kind of looks like an evening bag. And as a matter of fact, the company even says the following. Zipped with a swinging tassel, this pouch is so luxe it could double as an evening bag. Yeah, the thing is though, it's full of makeup and there's nothing on here that says that you can take them out. So basically what this is, is a fancy looking $69 compact with a fabric tassel on it you're gonna put it on your vanity and eventually you're gonna get makeup dust in the tassel, you know you will, so it will look dingy and gross, you know it will, and then you're gonna eventually shove it in a drawer where it will just be forgotten and or destroyed, you know it will. Checking out the shades in here, there is nothing, absolutely nothing unique about any of these shades at all. 
I don't care what level of quality we're talking about. This is insulting. $69 for something that looks like an expensive evening bag, but you can't even use it like that. Why? Why? No reason. No reason at all. This is hype o -rama. You own all of these colors. I absolutely promise that you do. This whole, no, this whole tassel thing, luxe, package, patent, leather, frou-frou, hoo-ha, what? No, you already own these shadows, and if you don't, you can find them for a lot cheaper. I know I'm going in on Marc Jacobs a lot lately, but it's just like, it's just such blatant overpricing and ridiculous it's the cult of the name. It's so people can say they're wearing Marc Jacobs. Who cares? Once it's on your face, nobody will know. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and for subscribing. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope that maybe I saved somebody a little bit of money. And um, I will look forward to seeing you guys in my next clip, which will be going up probably tomorrow. So until then, have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye.